Hello everyone and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48's World and I am Deb Chanel. Okay, welcome back you guys to my channel. Those who are new uh, coming over to my channel, watching me for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Yes, thank you for coming by, stopping by the house, trying to see what we got going on, what we got cooking, what we're talking about, what's trending out there in the social media world. Yes, honey, we're going to be talking about Nene and her clapping back at her boss. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I don't know what's wrong with Nene these days. It don't seem like her spiritual counselor is working out. Okay. Because she seems to be more angrier than prior to her going out, seeking out a, a spiritual counselor. I don't know what's going on, guys. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share my videos. But I like it when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you leave your comments and you share my videos. Okay. So, we had an article from 2fab.com, peoplesmagazine.com. Uh, and... Child, this story is just trending on social media, and those who care to partake of the story are doing so. And since I didn't tape it all on Mondays, which is kind of my day off, um, <laughs> child, I said, let me get a hold of this. I can't believe Nene is clapping back at her boss, Andy Gowen, over there at True Entertainment. I think she done bumped her head and forgot who write her checks, okay? And then again, they could be doing it as a publicity stunt. Because I didn't really see where he really said anything wrong. You know, he just brought up the incident that she was re-circling uh, or recycling her wardrobe. Like, you always have to be out there because you're rich and famous or you're a celebrity, reality rich. You can't wear the same clothes over again. Over and over and over and over. Yes. Over and over. I mean, that's what regular everyday people do. But I guess when you're on that side where you a rich itch like she say she is, I guess she's not supposed to be recycling clothes. Once you wear them, you do burn them up and get something else, you know. <laughs> I don't know who actually does that. I remember Oprah Winfrey used to say she used to um throw away her panties when they got dirty. She ain't had time to wash. She just got bought, went out there and bought her some more. I like, okay. We got money like that? Well, then we need to be supporting some charities around here and trying to stamp out this homelessness that's plaguing everybody's community and everybody's state, okay? Let's take some of that extra money we feel we need to be just buying clothes every day, wearing only one outfit one time, and then you discard it. I guess you give it away or just sit in your closet. I don't know what. But let's try to stamp out this homelessness if we can do all that. But anyway, I think Andy was just making a little joke. And then it could be just to drive up ratings. He wanted to just throw a little shade here and there. I mean, it was really light shade. But just looking at because I ain't read the article. But just looking at other people's feedback or reviews that they're doing on the show that aired. I think it was last night. Watch What Happens Live. Or it could have been Sunday. I'm not really sure. But um, Andy had... Eva Marcel on there and Ashanti, the singer back in the day. The R&B crooner, they used to work with uh, Herb Gotti and um, Ja Rule. Yeah, that was some good old times. She was making some songs back there, but I don't know what she's doing right now. I don't know what she's doing because she was messing with Nelly back in the day too. And I don't know what happened with that relationship either. But anyway, we're, not, we're neither here nor there on that situation. We're talking about Andy Cohen and NeNe Leakes and what's going on. And we know... Lord have mercy, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. But we know she was too fit to be tied at Marlowe's event where, you know, things got to popping off with Kenya Moore coming in with her two or three piece band that she had set up on the side. She probably got the folks on the side of the street. So y'all want to make a quick book. Come on and help me do this little impromptu. Um crashing somebody's event y'all not gonna get in trouble i'm gonna make sure that but i just want to you know do this right real fast quick in a hurry and then y'all get to act you know get you know some extra books where y'all don't have to really work hard just 20 minutes of work that's it so that's what i believe she did here because it wasn't 
it wasn't even really orchestrated too well to be playing like uh i set this up for like a month in advance we're gonna do this thing it's just like impromptu she went with it she got some uh people to go along with her little gag and that was it hold on Come on in here, Jay. Come on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But anyway, it was more so, you know, impromptu. She wanted to get her little spiel. But like I said, it wasn't even her event. So at the end of the episode for uh, Housewives last night, well, not last night, but it was on Sunday. I think it was the 8th. Um, don't really know why she left don't really know why she left it wasn't her event so she should have just sat back i'm talking about nene leaks sat back enjoyed the ride and just looked at the foolery that was going on and knew she didn't have anything to do with it at all okay she just just enjoyed the ride let somebody else fight and stuff of that nature and she could just have the guest seat in the house and just watch everything you know take place i would have been like garçon 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 could you bring me some appetizers okay i just want to see what's gonna go down what she got on the menu what, what we having what we snacking on i would have been like that give me everything okay and let me just sit in the corner in the cut could leave this time i didn't have nothing to be involved with and i was just coming supporting a very dear friend and her adventure of starting up another possibly lucrative business um deal for her and you know i was just gonna sit there and if somebody rained on her parade it wasn't me it wasn't me but i can call a spade and spade and i help her sister out if she need to get the you know clocking folks up there but i need to eat first and then we're gonna sit and talk about this thing you know like ladies or whatnot but i believe bravo had that all set up too uh, for Kenya to come in and it'd be okay for her to crash it for a couple of minutes and then she had to scoot her little tail on out of there but yeah nene just got upset talking about she ain't with this she ain't with that i'm like hell it ain't your event anyway just sit back in the cut like a real g ain't nobody coming for you ain't nobody checking for you you already did your fashionable league late entry aunts okay into the um party where everybody was just like waiting for the event to start and you just happen to be like i said fashionably late and coming up in now uh trying to like you were part of the who's who crowd or whatever everybody giving you you know haze kisses and hugs and all this kind of stuff and Porsche on the other side running from you <laughs> she got that duck and dive duck in dive type of situation for you because you were cutting up on social media you had text the girl all kind of horrific text that could have got you clocked you know what i'm saying if she was really about that life she could get away with it but neither here nor there and then watch what happens live and it got his little guest over there shanti and um uh even marcel and then somehow your name came up i hear because like i said i didn't actually see it so i can't give you true to form of what was said and how it was said okay but uh the streets are saying he just made a reference that damn you got on the same dress you had on a good while ago the strap had broke and it was gonna be like a mar what do you call it a wardrobe malfunction type thing going on but your boots kept it up you know you shim it on out of there and, or taped it up one and now i see you got the strap fixed okay yeah that's the little dress <laughs> that was showing all the boobas the boobies the ditties you know what i'm saying and the strap broke and so you know he was just making reference like damn okay the strap broke you got a fist all right that's cool baby wear it on wear it on wear it on so then he called herself clapping back at and talking about that was just distasteful he didn't have to talk about her but really what i felt after you know reviewing other people's videos about it oh no <sighs> Nene got mad because Eva was up there laughing her ass off, and that's basically what it was. She didn't want Eva to be up there laughing her ass off, even though uh, Andy had tapped her a little bit and tried to, you know, shade her a little bit. Eva just took it out for the whole, you know, 100. She was like, oh. <laughs> you know, and for some reason, Eva, I mean, um, what's her name? 
then he couldn't take it. And I'm like, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why you on the bench. I done taped up your mouth, too. You right there with your buddy Cynthia because y'all seasoned women, y'all contemplate a game. I mean, what is it, Nene? You used to have so much going for you, so much real nice shade. And, you know, you make these one word phrases and people just be wanting to go put the stuff on the, a shirt, a plain shirt. You know what I'm saying? Or you, hey, you even call yourself marketing a few of them out here and there. Remember, bloop. Uh huh. I said what I said. You know that kind of stuff. I don't forgot what the other one. I'm a rich bitch. You know that shirt and stuff. And they was just cute and comical. But now it's just like you too fit to be tied. You just everything angers you. It, it be raining outside. You mad? It's traffic out there. You extra, 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 extra mad. Somebody say it's a good day. They having a good day. You would probably say what's so good about it. So, anyway, everybody was on social media pretty much talking about how Nene, um, and it was coming for Nene and this, that, and third. And Nene was coming back, clapping back, you know, trying to, you know, get him together. When there really was no need to get anybody together. I'm like, Nene, you don't like your uh, position on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Because that's a good way to get yourself fired and on about that dough. Say something wrong. Remember how Marlo is trying to get a peach? And she just said that. Agate word. And how many years ago that been? And she's still trying to get that peach. Yeah. And you got a peach. Can't went and took a vacation for what was a season or two or whatnot. <laughs> knocking on the door. Cause you ain't gonna tell me. You ain't gonna make me believe Bravo was constantly knocking on your door big and you bet. I think it was a mutual agreement of both of y'all needing one another. Okay. So I'm like, girl, some things you just let go under the water. You laugh, 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 and you keep it moving. You don't have to be all extra, especially not with your boss. If he said, okay, he has a little jokey jokes. Hell, I would have called in the show. It's okay, Andy. Why are you picking at me? Recycling, re uh, picking at me, recycling my wardrobe. Okay, babe, what credit card can I use so I can make sure I buy a nice outfit once a day on your show okay or, or my gowns that i like to wear i probably go to an event maybe twice or maybe once a month can i have your credit card so when i'm out there looking good or i have a, a what we call it, a wardrobe malfunction i can just pick up your credit card and i go ka-ching get me a new gown or whatever you're gonna be my sugar daddy babe you're gonna be my sugar daddy because over here in the Leaks house, we, we, we recycle stuff as much as possible whenever we feel like it. We even go get triplets of the same thing. Hell, it could have been a new dress. Same uh, style. Same color. You don't know. Did you ask me, babe? And that's how I would have took it. I would have laughed it off and went on my business. That was a light, shady shade. Because, hey, when they make one dress... Unless you got a particular designer and you don't pay him well enough to say, do not reproduce this particular gown. Do not do it. Oh, I have a lawsuit on you. Litigation, all of that. This is a one of kind. It's mine or whatever. Now, if it was a situation like that, that's a different story. But if it's just something that everybody can go partake of, hey, you could have had two or three up in the closet. And you could have just said, see here, Andy, I'm going to let you come in my closet. Oh, better yet, I'm going to let me videotape it for you. And then I'll send it to you so you can play it out like you're trying to play me on, on um, TV right now on your show. See, I got three of the same or four of the same dresses that you talking about. Here go the one that you talking about with the strap broke. But I loved it so much and I got the money like that. I got two or three more. Do you see, boo boo? Bloop. And I would have went about my business. So, it would have been a situation like that, Nene. Not saying it had to fall like that. But what I'm saying, you can make lemons out of lemonade. Somebody throwing you lemons, make lemonade, honey. And you didn't really have to call up on the show that particular day. You could have shaded him maybe on one of the episodes. But, yeah, it just is what it is. But let's get, because I don't tear it too long now. Let's get on into what People Magazine had picked up on this issue or this clap back Nene called herself putting out on social media. And of course, everybody and the grandmama that run a vlogging site or gossip columnist site, they're going to be up on it, doggone it. But anyway, we have a correspondent or journalist that's over there working for people.com. 
Her name is Hannah Flanagan. Let's give her all the hand claps you can possibly muster up for this salacious story we finna break out on my channel. That's Deb Chanel, 48th World. And I'm Deb Chanel. Okay, hello. But anyway, the title she gives us is Nene Leakes Claps Back at Andy Cohen for Calling Out Her Dress Rewear. I don't appreciate this. Okay, Nene. Alrighty, here. Yeah. It was put out on December 9th. At 5.50 p.m. I don't know what time zone, but let's go on and get into it because that really don't matter. Okay, it says Nene Leakes is calling shade. Okay, should have been calling fire, really. But anyway, during Sunday night's episode of Watch What Happens Live, host Andy Cohen pointed out that the Real Housewives of Atlanta star rewore a laced red, is it Marchesia, Marchesa Noti? dress in this season of the show after previously wearing it two years prior okay leaks 51 was not amused by the comment and clapped back on instagram on monday okay so it aired on sunday and she came back with her clap back on monday so i guess she didn't call in hell she should have called on in huh she was that nervous or that worried about it you mean she spent the whole night the whole sunday night stop you're not going back out there she spent the whole sunday night worrying not resting not doing anything and she's just like uh -uh, i'm gonna clap back at him because he shouldn't have said that about me i'm one of his best customers or his best showstopper and he gonna talk about me like that like nene you should have took some more medication honey but anyway Going back to the article, it said, um, Leaks 51 was not amused by the comment and clapped back on her Instagram on Monday. Can someone please tell me what was the point of this? Like, I don't get it. That was two years ago. I wore this dress once, so I can't sit in a confessional with it on at Bravo Andy. How many times have you recycled your suits and ties? Ooh, shade. <laughs> Pointless. Messy. Why are why you care? She wrote alongside the WWH clip. She added, It's enough that we hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta ladies come for each other and now we have to worry about executives coming for us. Well Nene, I just wanna stop right there and just point out to you, honey, you signed up for this reality foolery fuckery show, okay? Mindless drama show. You are calling yourself the head HBIC of this show. Now you can give it, but you can't take it no more. Girl, what is going on with you, hon? I think you need to seek other type of counseling, spiritual counseling, because that one ain't working for you. You're getting kind of weak and a little soft and too sensitive. I don't understand, any. Is it getting too much for you? Is the reality show getting too much for you? You mean everybody, he, Andy can talk about everybody else, but he can't talk about you? He can talk about the other women's on the other Housewives show franchises, but he can't talk about you? Girl, go somewhere and put your head in a pillow, okay? And cry your tears out because I don't understand what's going on with you. Whew. But anyway, going back to the article, I'm expressing again. It's enough that we, meaning the Real Housewives of Atlanta ladies, come for each other. And now we got to worry about this. Well, hell, I would love to I enjoy. Let, let, let the pain come from every side. Give me drama from every side. If the Zex and the Cohen want to get into the mess, let them go on and get into the mess, girl. Let him go on and get into the mess. Upset the balance. And just let the shades fly from east, west, north, south. I don't care where they're coming from. Just give us mindless drama that we can kiki about. Uh, get that uh, laugh good or that gut laugh that really comes from inside you know when it hurts your stomach a little bit because you don't laugh so much yes we want that nene we want to exhale and inhale on laughter babe so you sitting up there saying you got the y'all dodging bullets that y'all spraying at each other verbally and now, Andy Cohen want to pump a few himself out there on you. You can't handle the pressure, baby. You can't handle the pressure. OG, Nene, can't handle the pressure. Girl, you might need a vacation then, baby. You might need to be cast as a friend of the friend of the show. If you can't take the heat. How they say you can't take the heat? Get out the kitchen. Get out the kitchen. But getting back to the article, it says, um... No, I mean coming for me. It's not cool. Wasn't you interviewing those girls? 
well, I mean, they, they were ladies, baby. They were women. They're not girls. What are you talking about? Would you like somebody to refer to you as a gal or a girl when you up there giving the interviews or sitting in, letting people call in to watch what happens live and want to ask you questions? You want to be considered as a girl? No, baby. Those are women up there. I don't know what Ashanti done did to you, but you were disrespecting her. She ain't even said too much of nothing. It was Eve up there cackling like a hen and laughing and everything. And I think that's the reason why you got mad because Eva was up there trying to be a diva. All right. Yes, laughing, laughing, laughing at the little shade. The Andy Cohen threw your way about your dress, the malfunction, and you're recycling the same dress two years prior. Okay. Okay. Moving on. It says, um, what you mad about? That's what she's asking Andy Cohen. Y'all stay coming for me. But as soon as I say something or do something, I'm wrong. I don't know. And I don't appreciate this at all. During the segment, Cohen playfully pointed out that the red dress leaks wore in her interview confessional in this season's Real Housewives of Atlanta was previously worn by her doing a Watch What Happens Live doorbell special in Los Angeles. He showed a side-by-side photo of the reality star wearing a strappy, off-the-shoulder frock two years apart. Okay? By the way, one of Nene's confessionals looks this year is the same dress she wore to our big doorbell show in L.A. where the strap broke, Cohen says. So I guess she fixed her strap, which we love. You know what we just love, our eagle eye researchers here. Okay. Um, watch what happens live guests and fellow Real Housewives cast member Eva Marcel burst out into laughter, prompting the TV host to backtrack okay why was that shady huh i didn't mean for that to be shady he said but it was already out there and that's why evil marcel was laughing her ass off okay you're just like me sometimes it comes out marcel who had feuded with leaks in the past responded the real housewives of Atlanta og didn't back down on her instagram a few hours after her initial clap back Leaks shared a second post, this time showing several Hollywood A-listers, including Michelle Obama, Kim Kardashian and West, and Kate Middleton, re-wearing their favorite styles. Now I'm like, Nene, for one, don't even compare yourself to Michelle Obama, okay? All right, because she got her own designer, all right, waiting to do things for her free of charge, okay? Don't compare yourself to Kim Kardashian. You know, she's a thought. She's a hottie. Okay, garden too. She made her way to uh, the main street of Hollywood through video sexing tape. Okay, so let's not compare her and Kate Middleton. She's an actress. Hmm. So you don't even fit in neither one of them. Well, I mean, you might be close to Kim Kardashian and her repertoire, her resume. But Kate Middleton and Michelle Obama, Mm-mm. former first lady. No, ma'am. Okay, but anyway. She swiped. Not sure why women who are public figures can't repeat an outfit, but these ladies did it fabulously. And I will continue to do so whenever I feel like it. I love my clothes. She captions the series of photos. Pay him no mind. That's a commenter coming in to um, take up for Nene. Love that is a woman. Pay him no mind, love, that you are wearing it again. Fashion is supposed to be worn more than once. Um... One of her fans commented. Another wrote, "Girl, those fits aren't cheap, and some look, and some looks should definitely be rocked more than once." I'm all for it, Nene. Then Cohen, seemingly standing by his comment, addressed the situation by replying to a fan's tweet with a meme of none other than the reality star herself. Okay, and it's that uh, meme they have going around saying i said what i said now see that was a clap back that was a shade right there see she done poked the bat and andy cohen coming out and he got a lot in his arsenal to throw at nene so nene need to be backing down instead of barking okay back down nene like i said don't think you're irreplaceable in my Beyonce voice, in, in my Beyonce voice, don't ever think you're irreplaceable. 
Okay, don't think it, Nene. All right, don't think it, baby. But anyway, throughout the day, going back to the article, several social media users pointed out that this isn't the first time Leaks has recycled a glamorous dress for a Real Housewives of Atlanta confessional. The thing about Nene is she has never been, been wait a minute, the thing about Nene is she has never I think she meant to say been ashamed of wearing clothes more than once. She's done this several times throughout the years. And I can, cons I definitely can say it. Yes, that damn t-shirt. She just constantly wear, 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 wear. She tried to bring it in as a sporty item that I guess she felt people were going to pick up on. But nobody want to pick up on a, a t-shirt, a white t-shirt at that. Go check it out with Kanye West, okay? He's selling a, a plain white t-shirt, probably from Hanes for $100, all right? But he got people buying it. Mm. But anyway, that was just my sidebar. Uh, then we're going to uh, we'll go back to the article. It says she's done this several times throughout the year. Nobody had any clue until last night on Watch What Happens Live. Seems as though your team is not just as efficient and quick as you think, Andy Cohen. One fan wrote, or, wrote on Twitter. And I'm like, girl, them fans can come from Andy all day long. But Nene, don't let your fans, your followers, your viewers get you in trouble and hype your head up. Where you think you're going to go and call out your boss, girl? Uh-uh. Because he'll get the last laugh every day. Every day, every day. Okay? So stop thinking you're irreplaceable, honey. Go uh, listen to something else. Like backstab or something, something, something to that effect. You really can't call him a backstab because uh, mm, he kind of employ you. So I wouldn't bite the hand that feeds me, Nene. I really wouldn't. Okay, baby. But that's all I had of the story, y'all. I thought it was kind of entertaining yet insightful to show that either Nene and Andy Cohen are in cahoots together to make like a fake little beef is going on between them to drive up ratings. Or in fact, it may be true that Andy Cohen just said, forget this, honey. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. You say what you have you going to say, but we're going to see who had a last laugh. Okay. But that's all I had. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos and definitely share my videos. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. Somebody gonna get in trouble around him. And his name is Elijah.